Oliver, call me naive, but given we hear news every day of the wonderful UK economic recovery, I'd have assumed a UK construction exposed stock would be doing pretty well right now. But Balfour BT isn't, is it? No, uh, we've had bad news today from Balfour BT. And you're right, uh, an upturn in the economy should be good for construction companies, although construction is, is quite late cycle. It takes a while for companies to, to feel confident enough to, to launch big projects, particularly the kind of big, complex projects that Balfour Beatty likes to specialise in. The problem for Balfour Beatty is it's still coping with what happened during the downturn when there was less work around. And they, they went into a lot, of, uh, a lot of contracts, particularly in the London area, kind of smaller uh, engineering type contracts. They've caused problems. And the company has said today that, that some of these contracts will cause a, th a £35 million profit shortfall in the UK construction division. Now, it's not quite a profit warning because that's offset by uh, exceptional gains from asset disposals. So they're saying profits will be exactly as we expected, no change there. But still, the, the underlying picture is not great. It's un underlying problems in the, in the construction business, which is the core of, of Balfour BT. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is amazing. A company which built the London Olympics a few years ago is now kind of come to this. But just help me sort of build the picture here. In terms of revenue um, and margins, where are we at this point and where could we go from here, do you think? So construction's a low margin business and that's why this particular engineering division, which is just 10% of UK construction, threatened to wipe 35 million off of 150 million pound group profits expected for this year approximately. So it's quite a big dent. That's because it's such a low margin business. Now, you might hope that uh, over time margins would improve. Certainly for years and years, construction companies have been trying to get away from the low margin nature of the business. A decade ago, they were all talking about moving towards 4 and 5% margins. They're still down way, way below that at half that level. And it doesn't look like they're going to improve significantly for a while yet. OK, well, with that, you know, that bearing that sort of dull future for margins in mind, you mentioned asset disposals. Um, what can we sort of expect there? And also, I mean, can we sort of hold on for a UK recovery? You know, if, you know, if, if it's on its way, do I buy the stock here? Well, the company would no doubt <laughs> like you to, but they're, they're selling a big um, US business, uh, Parsons Brinkhoff, they're, they're sort of looking for buyers for that. So that will bring some money in for the moment while we wait for things to pick up. And you might want to buy in here. The shares have fallen quite heavily this year by, by over a quarter. But you don't know what else there is to come out of the woodwork. There was bad news at the interim, at the full year results in March. There was more bad news at a profit warning in May. Here we are in July. We've had more bad news. Who knows when this, this leakage of, of, of bad news is going to stop. So I think it'll be brave to jump into the shares just yet. Okay. Under construction. Thank you, Oliver.